what is up guys this is your boy Ozonto came back here again with another motivation welcome back to my channel and if today is your first time please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel watch my old videos like them share them if you like it and leave a comment but um today's video is really a video that really comes is a message that really comes from my heart so without further ado let's get into the video so i want to talk to you guys today about learning to control your mouth and it's really sad because one of the main reasons why some people are still stuck in the same place is simply because they haven't learned how to shut their mouth they talk about people they say hurtful words to other people without thinking about it you know i mean by the time you realize they say so much to the fact that they don't even realize it it has become a part of their lifestyle and it's really a problem for me looking at this because words are really strong and before you even say anything take that little 30 seconds of your life for making you feel good by just saying hurtful words take that 30 seconds upon your life and just sit down to think about it before you even speak it and one thing i've come across learning and i'm still learning is that not only but not only that you're you learning not only that you're shutting up and not saying the hurtful words or whatever you feel like saying at that specific moment when you're mad or anything is gonna make you feel good but I, i've always learned that it's also a discipline and it's also a blessing and that's a good way for god to promote you the bible says that be quick to listen and be slow to speak so you may know that someone is wrong and you're right but you having to be so quick to say hurtful words is not going to solve the problem or it's not going to end anything and i've heard this i've heard this saying so many times is that the reason why we have two ears and one mouth is that we have to listen twice as much as we speak so before you even try to say something that you know that you're going to regret later on listen as twice as much that you will speak you know how much headaches how much problems we can solve if we were to sit down and actually shut our mouths from the things that we said a long time ago instead of it would keep us from regretting things and messing up relationships messing up connections you have with other people so you have to really really pay attention and know how to you know like zip it when it's the right time to do that I mean, when you're upset, right, when you're hurt, and like, it takes 10 seconds to say a hurtful word to somebody, and you might feel good about that. After that, people might shake your hand, go ahead, yo, high five, yo, you did your thing, you spoke your mind. I mean, saying hurtful things to other people is like a burn, a fire, you know? The fire will go away, but the burn and the mark will not go. The mark will always stay to your skin. And it's always the same thing as speaking hurtful to other people. You might say, I apologize, I'm sorry. I mean, that's the right thing to do when you hurt somebody. But you have to always remember that the words that you speak are so strong to the fact that it might stay there. They might necessarily not say nothing to you, but something that you would do to somebody or the words that you would say to other people will hurt them so much to the fact that they start to dwell on these words. And I'm not saying that dwell on these words when somebody say something hurtful to you but you know try always try your best to let them know how you feel but before you let somebody know how you feel you have to always remember to pray about it and ask God God if this is what I should do maybe at that moment is not what you should do so learn to please please really 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 zip your mouth and it's something that I have come across you know I'm, I'm still learning I'm still you know trying my best to say positive words to people all the time and speaking about positivity you can watch my old video how to stay positive right there somewhere here and you should know how to stay positive and I think it should help you guys and if you want to stay positive getting back on track right there's so many talented educated people people with degrees people with people with talent like you know it's so many people with talent that they have not reached their destiny be only because of the words that they said to other people and it's funny and so sad because they have never realized that you know it might be so small to you the words you said to somebody 10 years ago but you never know that's the reason why they're still dwelling on them people i mean people spent so many time to say 
hurtful words and say things they don't even think about speaking to other people and it makes them feel good i mean at that moment we're all human beings you're gonna feel good and people always say oh if you don't say nothing back it make you look stupid da -da -da -da. that's not it the right thing and the best thing to always do is to learn to either walk away or just listen and walk away never never say anything before you even open your mouth to say anything you always have to think what i'm saying is it going to be beneficial to somebody if somebody say those words to me i'm not going to be happy you always have to put yourself in that specific or particular you know situation to see if somebody said this word to me or said this hurtful sentence to me am i going to be happy am i going to be hurt am i going to be what you know so you always have to put yourself in it and if you know it's not going to make you happy you should definitely not open your mouth to say the same thing to somebody else and it's so sad because most people are so quick to judge other people and i really want to tell you that before you even open your mouth to judge people look into your own mirror and whatever you see think about it and see if that that whatever you see in the mirror it, 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 it is not doing the same thing or is better I mean, just because you have the looks and you have accomplishments and people are you like, you have a lot of people liking you, doesn't mean that you're the great person ever or somebody else is a bad person. No. So it's so sad. It's so sad because most people um, get the anointing and on their lives and they always think that that's it. You know. And it's sad because um, David, David got anointed at the age of 14, but he wasn't appointed until what? He was like 30, until he was like 30. And that's really a long time because most of the time it all comes back to being humble and learning how to, you know, control yourself. You know, David was anointed among all his, all his brothers and stuff. His brothers was all into like soldiers. They was all like bigger and after he got anointed, he could have said, oh, I'm not going to listen to them. I'm not going to keep my mouth, my mouth shut if they come for me or anything. He still stayed humble and he still showed that humility in him. And he did every single thing that was asked from his upper class or people who was under him. Asking him to do, if they asked him to do something, go to the farm, he would do it. He would never say or oh, boast to himself and be like, oh, didn't you hear that prophecy about me? I'm gonna be the king, so why should I help you? He never said that he was so humble, and when it's time for him to be appointed, God lifted him. And this is where most people get confused because it's so sad that this world that we live in, most people are boasting in themselves and wherever they're in or whatever um, position they're in. It's about that time that we actually sit out and walk that leadership talk because it's sad that most people use positions to boast unto themselves, but you can be anointed, but not be appointed. It's a difference between being anointed and being appointed. Being anointed is basically God is telling you, I have anointed you and this is what you will do, but it will take you training for you to get to where you need to be. And most people want to skip that training and go straight to the appointing. And it's sad because an elephant, an elephant takes a whole year to give birth to only one elephant. But a dog gives birth so quick to a lot. And it's funny, and I always look at this and I always say, why? Why does an elephant take so long to, you know, give birth? And it's, what came to my mind is that it's, it's only because what the elephants have in the stomach is bigger and it's something that you don't see as usual. So if you're not willing to go through that whole process for that long time, and, and, and you will never get nothing good out of it. And it's funny because if you go through that, that, that process and that test and learning to shut your mouth as the elephant go through for every, every single time they're pregnant for a whole year, it's something big that's gonna come out of it. You don't normally see elephants, so same as your dream. If you wait and not and, and, and not try to skip the preparation, whatever is in you is too big to the fact that when it comes to this whole universe, it's gonna take another whole year for another ones to come. And, and and that's where people miss all of it. So I just I just really wish that you guys will, you know, learn to shut your mouths and just go with whatever God is trying to push you to and this is basically, I think, the end of what I had today on my heart for you guys. And thank you to Joel Stain. I listened to the podcast and it inspired me so much. And I really hope you guys like it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment this video. And let me know below what other motivation, what other, what other topics you guys would like for me to talk about. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys for that. 
for that support and i really can't believe it i, just, I was just at like 100 or whatever but thank you guys so much for the support and yeah don't forget to be blessed be yourself and be happy peace